Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you how I apply my false lashes quick and easy. So let's get started. So I have my top three most worn false lashes here. So I have two pair by Ardell. These are Wispies. These are Dimmy 120. And I have one pair by Miss Adoro. And these are number 43. So I think today I'm going to be doing the demo on the Dimmy 120s. And this is a brand new pair. So I'm just going to peel it off. And the first step is to clip the lashes to the length that I need for my eye. Now that's going to vary from person to person, so what you want to do is just measure your lashes. So I'm just going to drop these down. And so I usually need to trim my lashes because I have smaller eyes. So to trim some people trim from the outer corner, some people trim from the inner corner. For me, it depends on the lash style that I'm using. So for this style of lash, I'm actually going to trim a little off the inner corner. So I have my little scissors here, and I'm just going to go ahead and take off about this much from the inner corner, about, about a quarter inch. Okay, now I'm going to measure them again. And that looks like the perfect length. Now since these are brand new, there is a little bit of adhesive left over from the packaging, so I'm just going to remove that. And I'm ready to apply my lash glue. And I like to use Duo Lash Adhesive, and this is in the clear white. This is also available in the dark. And now for some lashes, they might be a little bit straighter. Usually Ardell lashes have a nice curve to them already. But if you have a pair that is a little more straight, you need to kind of run it back and forth like this. And that helps to just give a little more bend to it so it's more flexible and it fits your eye better. Now to apply the lash glue, first I'm just going to get a little bead of glue right at the tip. And then I'm going to just run that bead right over the lash band. Next I'm going to grab my tweezers, and these are just by e.l.f. And now some people like to just use their fingers to apply the lashes. For me, I find it's easier actually to use the tweezers, because sometimes it's hard to see when you're using your hands. So I set the middle in first, and then the outer corner and then the inner corner. And so the lashes are glued to the skin, not to your natural lashes. And then I just kind of press them in. Okay, now I'll do the other side and I will zoom in a little more for this. And usually I'll let the glue dry for just a few seconds before I apply. Now another tip is if you have any visible lash lines, so any lash glue that you can see, I like to take a black eyeshadow, this is MAC Carbon, and any angled liner brush, and I just take a little of that and press it right over that lash band, wherever you can see it. And that's really all there is to it. With a little practice, you can get the hang of it in no time. Now for lash removal and lash care. All I do to remove my lashes is just grab from the outer corner, make sure you grab just the false lashes, not your natural lashes. So I just grab from the outer corner and peel them right off. They come off super easy. For lash care, all I do is once I've removed the lash, I will kind of pick off any of the excess lash adhesive. And then once they're fairly clean, I just stick them right back in their packaging and that keeps them ready and clean for the next time. Now, I can get usually around six to seven uses out of my lashes, um, sometimes less, sometimes more, depending on how well I take care of them. And also, I will mention that I try to keep my false lashes as product-free as possible. So, I don't apply, like I don't apply the lashes and then apply mascara. I don't, I don't like that because that can ruin the lashes. Also, I don't apply any makeup remover to get the adhesive off. 
I just, like I said, I just pick it off. If you apply makeup remover, sometimes it can ruin the life of your lashes. So um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.